Hi, this is Cabana Chat, a sleek makeup beauty product review and a beauty tutorial utilizing the newest products from Sleek Makeup. It's a sun-kissed look that's just in time for the warmer weather. If you like what you see, keep watching. Hello, welcome to Diva's Paradise, the wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Diva, and we're doing today a Cabana Chat. I'm going to give you a review of some sleek makeup products that I did receive for my consideration to review. And I'm happy to say that they have been all hits. First and foremost, I must thank you guys so much for all your kind messages, your love, and your support. I have not made a video in over a month. I've had some things going on in my life. Um, unfortunately, shortly after my grandmother's death, my uncle was diagnosed with cancer and um, sadly six months after the passing of my grandmother, my uncle passed away, which is her son. He was the second to the youngest child. He's only five years older than I am. And unfortunately, I had to revisit her graveside six months after laying her to rest. So it reopened a lot of old wounds, so to speak. So I had to just like take a break. I've been filming and everything, but I just really didn't have the strength to edit. But it's time to move on with life, and we're back in full swing again. This is the thing that brings me joy. So let's get on and talk to you about the newest products that I have received from Sleek Makeup. First and foremost, I must tell you about their new mascara called Lash Out. I love this stuff. As you know, my favorite high-end mascara that I used to like to use, or I still use actually in rotation, is my Dior Show Blackout. Absolute favorite. And if I'm using my drugstore brand, then I like my L'Oreal Voluminous Blackout. Well, I will have to say my Sleek Makeup Lash Out Mascara has fit nicely into the rotation. It very much reminds me of these mascaras. It has the nice lengthening pro uh, properties. It does make my lashes look full because I do have very fine short lashes. Mind you, this is not what I'm wearing. I have on some mink false lashes right now, so I can't really apply this. But the minute I take these off, you're going to see a proper video this showcasing the Lash Out Mascara itself. And of course, you know I always do step-by-steps and I like to feature um, products and definitely I'll be using the Lash Out. Just so you can see what the applicator looks like, it's not long and wispy like the usual ones, but this is a this is great for getting all the lashes, short, small, inner corners, outer corners, lower lashes. Um, this product is not waterproof, but I will definitely say it's been water resistant. It definitely works wonders for my lashes. Once again, you'll see a forthcoming video that will show tail the mascara on its own so you can see it on my naked lashes because it is absolutely fabulous. I cannot remember the price for this mascara but it is available at sleekmakeup.com so you can check it out. Now the next product that I have to tell you about is Sleek Makeup's Blush by 3. This is the packaging that it comes in. Okay, The shade that I received for my consideration is Flame. Flame is like, I would say like a brick red to an orange shade. Now, the thing with the three by three shades, they come with three complementary tones. These two happen to be shimmers and this one is a matte. They're suited for all skin complexions. They have a total of five shades. They have pumpkin, lace, pink sprint, flame, and sugar. This one I happen to get is flame. This shade here is called furnace. This is bonfire. This is molten. Um, what I will say is that this one very much reminds me of their blush in uh, Scandalous, okay? This reminds me of Scandalous. I can't think off the top of my head what the other two shades remind me of, if they're duplicates for something that they already have, but I will check back and I will let you know. The price for this is retailing for £9.99. I don't have the U.S. conversion in front of me. But, once again, sleekmakeup.com, if you go there, you will get um, the full pricing. Next on my list that I really, really like. Now, mind you, you may notice, hey, Diva, you sure do look dark to me. And believe it or not, I am a couple shades darker, so do not attempt to adjust your strain. I did spend time in the sun in Jamaica so much that I got some horrible skin burn, I mean sun damage, meaning... Um, freaking blisters I got blisters on the sides of my thighs why I do not know I use sunblock but obviously it wasn't strong enough or it was washing off so yeah I am a couple shades darker and to prolong and highlight my tan I definitely like their glow face and body highlighter let's zoom in on the packaging this is the packaging 
okay I definitely like this stuff I will have to say it has done excellent um, going to show you what that looks like this is the compact okay I love this stuff this is retailing for six pounds 49 it does come in three shades I believe I already have gold digger this one happens to be bronze baby and I do like it it highlights nice areas it has uh, illuminating light reflecting pigma <laughs> mica pigments in it that gives you a nice lovely glow especially when you've got a nice wonderful hue going on even if you don't and this for me personally I would say like if you want to have that glowy look like brush your decollete on your shoulders and stuff that will give you a glow that you're looking for and once again this retails for six pounds 49 you have to go to sleepmakeup.com I have to talk to you about these pencils I swear to you sleep makes things and they always give me some kind of other item that I use to compare it to and the quality is really really excellent you have oh la la liners I received three of them the shades that I received are it's nice and breezy out here nutcracker it's a nice warm brown you'll see swatches I received tonic it's a metallic uh, emerald shade and I received um, this shade of Moulin Rouge which is like a orangey red so I'm showing you the swatches here you're going to see it hang on see if I could zoom okay so this is the Moulin Rouge this is the nutcracker and that's tonic and the tonic is a metallic shade I do love it once again the quality is superb I did have an opportunity to test them out I did have an opportunity to wear them uh, they indeed are waterproof I will say especially this um, nutcracker I'm getting so much usage out of it because I use it as a liner in addition to eyebrows I'll fill my brows in with it I'll do my lips with it so so far so good now last but not least they also came out with two more eye divine eyeshadow palettes this is now called the ultra mats they have ultra mats dark and they have ultra mats light so the v2 is ultra mats dark and v1 i believe is sorry guys that should be v1 ultra matte so brights see what the shades look like and once again what i do like they have the names whoops they have the names written on the miler sheet that's in front i love that so you can know the colors and once again you are going to be seeing a close-up of the palette there it is now this is daylight so you're getting the true color we're gonna see if we can't attempt to do a look utilizing some of these products that I have received from sleep I'm very excited about them I think once again they are wins um, well done against sleek I'm not saying it just because I got it complimentary but uh, actually if it's rubbish I'm gonna tell you it's rubbish and sleek from day one I've always liked sleek and what they have done my only quip with them at one point was that they had like chunky glitter in their shadows they seem to have relieved, relieved and got rid of all that and so far so good I can't say that I have had any complaints so we're going to attempt to look and hopefully you like it keep watching to ensure vibrant color application and increase proof finish in warmer weather we're going to prime the lids with a Stila prime pot this color happens to be caramel this is not a sleek product I'm applying this to my lower lid going up into my crease line. The first color I'm going to apply for my lid is called Flesh. Mind you, for some reason these colors look washed out in the sun but they're very vibrant. This flesh is being applied to the inner third of my eye and the inner corner near the tear duct. Next, we're going to apply this deep, dark emerald color called Fern. This is going to the middle third portion of the lid, working up to where you would find the crease. To the outer third of the lid, we're going to apply this deep purple, it's called Highness. Once again, it looks washed out, but it is very deep, rich, and highly pigmented. Note that we're also working that deep purple shade, Highness, up into the crease as well, into the V area of the lid. 
into the crease to add further depth and definition and help to blend out some of those shades. We're going to use paper bag that was a deep brown. That's going to help with the transitioning of the color between the lid and the brow bone. To highlight our brow bone, we're going to use Doom. It's like a mid-tone beige, I would say. That's going to go right below the arched areas of the eyebrow. Using a fluffy brush, we want to make sure we blend out any harsh lines and get smooth transitions between each and every color. Using our Oh La La waterproof liner in tonic, which is that emerald green, and it's metallic, we're going to line the waterline. Although we're not wearing any foundation today because it's just too hot, we're using a lighter powder to highlight under the eyes and in the T-zone. To place color in our cheeks, we're using the 3x3 blush. This is Bonfire. It's more of a reddish looking shade, but it's appearing quite orange in the video. I'm thinking maybe the sun is washing the color out, but needless to say, it's very pigmented. That's why I dab each cheek and then blend it out. Now we're going to use the shimmery portion of the compact. This one is called Molten, and we're going to go a slightly above the color that we applied to allow for some highlight. Now to amp up that nice, rich brown shade in my tan, I'm going to use Glow Face and Body Highlighter, and this is in Bronze Baby, applying it right over the very highest part of my cheek for a subtle glow, and it's also going to go down the bridge of my nose. Let's add a little bit more drama. How about contouring? We're gonna use the face contour kit in dark and we're gonna chisel us some cheekbones, define the bridge of our nose as well as shade around the hairline. We're defining our lower lashes with Sleek Makeup's Lash Out Mascara. Lips are lined with Olala oh pencil in Nutcracker. I did tell you it's a multi-purpose pencil, and here it is. Next, we'll top our lips with Sleek Makeup's High Shine Lip Gloss in a touch of pink. This is the entire look and what it looks like. We've utilized the newest collection from Sleek Makeup and a couple of old favorites to boot. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Once again, to check out their products, www.sleekmakeup.com. Did you like it? Did you see my lashes? Look at the bottom, because that's where I used it. Ah, bottom lashes, wow, gorgeous. I love it.
So I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care until the next episode. Stay tuned for our behind the scenes look with Magnolia Makeup at New Orleans Fashion Week. Products featured here can be found at www.sleekmakeup.com. Happy shopping!